Next, I'm going to be showing you the freeware program called Tago Fences version 2.5.0.0. Uh, this is for Windows XP or higher, uh, Vista 7 and 8. You'll need Microsoft.NET version 2.0 or higher installed ahead of time. Uh, you need to uninstall any previous versions manually, and information will be below. Installing Tag Offenses 2.5, you'll get a Agree to Terms box. You will then see create fences automatically or manually there's two buttons you can choose whether you want to let it create the fences for you or just do it manually in the settings you can choose if you want tago fences to start on boot up and if you do have it start at boot up you can choose to hide or show your desktop icons at startup this will this if you do that, it'll uh, let you interact with the icons immediately, just like the normal desktop, and it'll probably show the fences as well. Uh, regardless, your desktop icons stay in place and are not moved or altered by tag offenses, just shown or hidden uh, by the mouse double click. And that's done on an empty area on the desktop and or or you could use the hotkey combination control alt s s is to show the desktop icons or hide them so it toggles it on or off or showed or hidden and of course there's a a uh, key combination for uh, the fences too. control alt f that'll show or hide the fences okay you have up to 10 maximum I think virtual desktops of fences are possible uh, and they're switchable at the bottom of the screen here uh, warning your uh, system tray if you go to arrange fences and one's arrange and the, the other ones resize and arrange using this will affect all your virtual desktop areas uh, moving the fences or desktop icons around or over you know the top of the icons your desktop icons so the the fences will move probably over top of your desktop icons however they however the program wants to do it and it'll do it on every single virtual desktop so keep that in mind before using that option let's get into making the fences to make a fence hold left mouse button down and drag corner to corner and release then you can just click add fence if you wanna add it At this point you can if you add it you can move the the fence by going to the title bar and you'll see the north south east west arrows and you're able to move it around however you want you can also resize the borders of your fence from the edges the left right and the bottom you can uh, also if you want the title bar displayed or in a different place you can uh, choose the right left bottom top or no title bar and that's the placement of the title bar and it gives it kind of a cleaner look uh, if you don't have any title bar you can still access some of the controls just by right clicking inside the fence too thumbtack on the title bar uh, will fade the fence uh, once the mouse moves off the fence for kind of a see-through look uh, note with the settings you can also roll up the fence into the title bar the other setting will pin the fence to never fade the fence from view so you can toggle that at any time you can choose you or you can change color 
of the fence in the settings through the system tray you can change I think three options and the icon text color uh, also through the system tray settings next if a title bar is present you can rename fence title to reflect the programs you're going to put in it uh, say the internet or utilities or notepads or uh, what have you now you can choose the icons from the desktop to drag and drop into a fence this creates a fence shortcut using the desktop shortcut so in the settings you can also sync the desktop icons so if the desktop shortcut is deleted so is the fence shortcut so deleting the desktop shortcut is the main link but deleting the fence shortcut does not delete the desktop shortcut so it's like having a shortcut of a shortcut for the fences um, you can rename the fence shortcut by slowly single clicking the icon or the text area underneath the icon and click icon then renaming it then click icon once to save your changes usually that's done with the inner uh, button normally but uh, the inner key here just adds a new line to the name so remember once you rename it just to click on the icon and then that'll save save it and the icon will still run just like it's meant to even changing the name it'll still work correctly now you can set the size of the icon by right clicking the title up in the title bar go to set item size to 32 that's you know 32 by 32 so when you move off the fence the icon doesn't flicker to a different size I don't know if that's a glitch or what but uh, for now set it at 32 so you don't get that unless unless you like the the different sizes moving on you once you move off the fence tag offenses is really really good at um, if you overfill the fence it will place a scroll bar on the side so you can see all your icons by the a typical scroll bar it'll just scroll all the hidden icons it's got a feedback options in the settings or in the system tray to where you can send them feedback on if you like it and if if you have any uh, ideas for uh, some improvements or if you have any errors that sort of thing the network notification I'm not sure about that if if someone's dealt with that drop me a YouTube compose a YouTube uh, mail to me and uh, uh, let me know what's up with that if there's any more version updates any major changes I'll probably make a new video they've started with version 2 and they've put out uh, like 10 or no I've got like six different versions from them and they were putting it out making changes like every every other day it was it was crazy to follow the versions that they had but this one's the most up-to-date the 2.5 and if there's any more changes I'll let you know uh, so keep it on this YouTube channel uh, for any updates to this program it, I love this program so keep it keep it here on this YouTube channel for more and see you next time